hi everyone in this video i'm going to explain about the design of an sop circuit sum of product circuit to detect the decimal numbers from 5 to 12 okay here the decimal numbers we need to identify from 5 to 12 but it is not in the normal binary format it is in the gray code input okay so what we are going to do here is for designing this sop circuit first we need to take the gray code format as the input which is a 4 bit gray code format and the output is only one bit output is only one bit and this one bit output is having ones from 5 to 12 and all the remaining outputs are zeros okay so first we need to draw the okay for every design uh, we need to follow three steps the first one is so the first step is truth table truth table and the second step is drawing k map k map from this we need to identify the sum of products form sum of products form and the third step is logic circuit design logic circuit design designing the logic circuit okay for this ultimate last step we have to follow this first two steps truth table and then k map here the logic circuit can be designed using this AND or INVERT or you can also design with only specific uh, universal gates like NAND gate and OR gate. That depends upon the requirement of the question. Now, the first one is, the first step is truth table. Truth table, so according to the input question, question is designing the SOP circuit for the decimal numbers for the for identification of decimal numbers so 5 through 12 in a 4 bit gray code input so here the decimal number is decimal number and this is the gray code gray code and the last one is output output let it be some y this is the output okay output is a single bit output now as it is a 4 bit gray code as it is a 4 bit gray code we are taking the input format like a b c d okay and this is the decimal number decimal number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so gray code gray code is nothing but how to represent a gray code it gray code is nothing but a mirror image code or we can also call it as a unit distance code okay so first we need to consider 0 1 after that mirror image of this one so that 1 0 okay like that we need to take okay append zeros here and ones so if we follow that we will be having this code four zeros and triple zero one next double zero double one double zero double one double zero one zero next for four it is zero double one zero zero triple one zero one zero one zero one double zero and for eight double one double zero for nine double one zero one and next ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen <clears throat> now ten is represented in this gray code four ones after that double one zero next one zero one zero one zero double one one triple zero one zero double one one double zero one and one triple zero if you observe all these bits successive bits are varying only with a variation of only one bit okay that is the meaning of gray code now see here According to the given question, we need to identify the numbers from 5 to 12. 5 through 12 means 5 to 12. 
So from 5 to 12, all the output bits are 1s and remaining all are zeros. That's why, see where we are having 1 here. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And all the remaining bits are zeros. Okay, this is the output. So the output is 1 from 5 to 12 in the decimal number, whereas in all the remaining cases we have zeros. Now, the second step is K map. Second step is K map. How to, what type of K map we need to consider? K map is nothing but here for output Y. We have only one output, so only one K map will come, but that is a four variable K map because there are four input variables A, B, C, D. <laughs> A, B, C, D, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. It is already in the gray code format, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, now this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5 onwards we have 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, these are zeros. Okay, so but here see 4 means 5, 5 means Zero triple one. Sorry, I think we have we have to follow as per the input gray code. Okay, see here. Okay, here the input is not eight four two one code to follow exactly like a zero. It is not zero one two three. 4, 5, we should not follow like that because the input is a gray code format. It is not 8421 code. If it is 8421 code, directly we can consider like that. But as it is a gray code, see, 0, 3, 1, 0, 3, 1, that is 5. Fifth location is 7. Okay, as per 8421 code, 0, 3, 1 is nothing but 7. So, fifth location is nothing but 7. So, in that way, we have to choose. So, that's why 0, 3, 1, where is 0, 3, 1, 7. This is 7. Okay. That means this is 1. And similarly, this location, this location, these 3 locations and these 2 locations. These are 1s and remaining locations are zeros, as per this gray code. <coughs> so, these 4 we can map and these 4 again these 2. Okay. So, totally 3 product terms are coming. So, y is equal to here we have B and in this C bar plus again B, D plus A and for this one is C, D bar. Okay. So, if you are asked to draw this circuit, draw the logic circuit for this type of output Y in terms of inverse logic gate like NAND gate. So, using NAND gate. we can draw using NAND gate we can draw the logic circuit logic circuit for output Y is shown here see how to draw there are three product terms so three AND gates are there three NAND gates are there three NAND gates are there Okay, if you don't know how to draw using NAND gate, you can also use simple AND or invert format. Okay, it is not compulsory until you are asked to draw in universal gate representation. So, here we have B, C bar <coughs> and another input is BD, B, D, B, D and here we have A, C, D, A, C, D bar, 
a c d bar and again these three are given to the input of three input nand gate this is why <clears throat> okay how we are actually drawing actually we need three and gates three and gates so first two and gates have two input and gates and the last and gate is a three input and gate okay and the three outputs of these and gates is given to a three input or gate that is the actual representation so for that you go, see here i will draw here this is and gate this is and gate this is and gate followed by an or gate followed by or gate so this is actually the normal and or format now this and gate needs to be converted to nand gate and all these gates should be converted into nand gate how this and gate can be converted into nand gate we need to add a bubble at the output here also output bubble here also output bubble and how this or gate can be converted into nand gate we need to add bubble at the input okay so this nand gates are as it is and this gate will be converted as like this in the nand gate shape okay bubble or gate is nothing but nand gate okay in this way we can draw the nand gate output it's like this so all the outputs are in the format of nand gate okay this is the sop circuit to detect the to detect the ones from 5 through 12 using this gray code format